So we're here looking at some equivalent fractions on a fraction bar, or we could also think of it as a number line. So I have this fraction 4, so the 4 represents a green here, and the 26 represents a whole. Okay, and that's equivalent to 2 over 13. I have two parts here and 13 parts that make up the whole. So these proportions are exactly the same. So, and you can see that as a fraction, you know, if you just kind of ignore the, the lines, the colored parts are equivalent to each other in proportion. So if I, ch I can change the, you know, change the numerator and denominators, okay, I'm going to change the denominator to something a little bit nicer. Let's make this into 12, okay? So I can show that I have a 8 to 12 fraction, so 8 twelfths is on the top, and it's equivalent to two-thirds. And we can see that they're in groups of four. So there's a group of four here, there's a group of four here, and there's a group of four here. So everything is proportioned by a group of four. So this fraction can be simplified by four. So if we take a look at this, eight, I can go from eight groups to two groups. Okay, so those eight groups go into a four to one ratio. The 12 groups that make up the whole, so there's 12 pieces that make up the whole, can be put into groups of four to make it into three groups of four. Okay, so this is where we get the three here. So they are proportionally the same. So this is, and you can see that the decimal values are both equivalent. So this is another way we can see how these equivalent fractions are just to do with proportions of each other or times and divide factors of each other.